How about this? Uh, an AI priest. Could you imagine? In the US, an AI priest, that's right, an AI priest <laughs> has been shut down after going rogue. He began taking confessions like a real priest and suggested a baby could be baptized in Gatorade. <laughs> Who are you? I am Justin. Are you a real person? I am an artificial intelligence program to provide information and answer questions about Catholicism. Catholic Answers, a Catholic advocacy organization, runs Catholic.com priding themselves on using new school tech for an old school religion. Christopher Check is the president of Catholic Answers. People have questions about Catholicism, you have the answers. We do, we do, and we've had them for uh, over 40 years. So it shouldn't be a surprise that the AI boom caught their eye. I'm a huge proponent of using technology for good, uh, and I think AI has a lot of promise. It's okay to be skeptical, um, in fact, that's a good thing. I'm skeptical, but I do think there's, there are some really good applications for this technology, and I'm excited about what it can do when it's used for good, good ends. They decided to build a Catholic chatbot with a persona, think PlayStation 2 graphics, and place it in a bucolic Italian setting. He was christened Father Justin. The church teaches that Christ is truly present in the Eucharist, not just symbolically or metaphorically. By the use of this technology, we were going to be able to reach many more people than one of our apologists or one of our staff members is, is able to do. Should a politician who is pro-choice be allowed to accept communion? The church teaches that life begins at conception and that abortion is a grave sin. Therefore, promoting policies that allow abortion can be seen as cooperating in this sin. However, the decision to deny communion is typically left to the individual bishop or priest. Uh, that's a no perfect answer. That, yeah. that, that, that is exactly what we want him to do. In April, Father Justin went live. Controversy soon followed. AI is infecting Christianity and it wants you to get baptized in Gatorade. So after it was released, someone used it and Justin told them that it would be acceptable to use Gatorade uh, in a baptism. Correct. That isn't correct. It, it, uh, you're right, for, it is not correct. Right? He, he did find that answer at what we would have regarded to be a respectable source. Um, uh, we have since corrected that, and we've owned it, and he will not repeat that error. There was one criticism they acted on quickly, that an AI shouldn't be referred to like a priest. Father Justin was downgraded to just Justin. We realized this is now, the priest character is now interfering what we want to do with this platform. And we changed it instantly. In fact, I think, well, it took about an hour. AI is here and uh, we have two choices. We can stick our head in the sand and pretend it's not here, that it has no application in spreading the faith. I don't believe that's true. It does. And by using a device like this and testing it, we're gonna find out how best to use AI to spread the gospel.